guys, Ken Ivory here again with the Three Great Rights Institute, empowering you in your pursuit of happiness. We're continuing our study of this incredible book, John Maxwell, The 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth. Live them and you will reach your potential. Uh, we're on law number six today, and law number six is the law of environment. Growth thrives in conducive surroundings. Uh, the first step towards success is taken when you refuse to be a captive of the environment you first find yourself in. It's a quote by Mark Cain. You know, I'm reminded of that incredible story about the, the eagle that fell out of its nest and the farmer took him and raised him among the chickens and the eagle thought he was a chicken. He grew up around chickens. He scratched the ground pecking for food with the chickens and uh, the naturalist comes and he hears about this eagle and he takes the eagle and he puts him up on the fence and says, you're an eagle, fly. And the eagle pops down and pecks the ground with the rest of the chickens. And he takes him to the top of the barn and says, you're an eagle, fly. And the eagle soars down, glides down to the ground and pecks the ground to the chickens. But it wasn't until he takes him to the top of a mountain peak and he can see the river and the sunlight and the sky and the open and he's around other eagles. He realizes who he is and the eagle takes off and soars majestically as of course eagles do. Similar with us, our environment determines so much about who we are and what we do. Uh, John Maxwell makes a statement. He says, if you're always at the head of the class, you're in the wrong class. And, and it's possible to change without growing, but it's impossible to grow without changing. In the book, he talks about six choices to change our environment to grow. And the first is to assess our current environment. And, and the second, change ourselves in our environment change who we spend time with, challenge ourselves in our new environment, and focus on the moment, focus on right now, and move forward despite criticism. I love some of the things that we have in here. I'll point out just a couple of them. Uh, John is big on questions, and in this book, we get the opportunity to study questions to assess ourselves. And you, know, you think about music, what songs lift me? Thoughts, what ideas speak to me? Experiences, what experiences rejuvenate me, and what people encourage me? What activities revive me and what spiritual exercises strengthen me? What dreams inspire me? What family members care for me? What blessings activate me and what recollections make me smile? What have I read that changed me? In, in looking at what our current environment is and putting ourselves in an environment to grow. There are certain facts of life we simply can't change. Who we are, where we were born, uh, our family, but we can change our attitude toward things and put ourselves in an environment to grow. Uh, John penned in 1973 uh, a statement about his growth environment. Uh, he says, uh, uh, in his growth environment, others are ahead of me. I am continually challenged. My focus is forward. The atmosphere is affirming. I'm often out of my comfort zone. I wake up excited. Failure is not my enemy. Others are growing. People desire change, and growth is modeled and expected. Well, that environment is, is, is going to help us be in a place that we begin to grow. And it's important that we, that we put ourselves in that environment and challenge ourselves. And so as we move forward in our mastermind groups, uh, studying the 15 invaluable laws of growth, we have an opportunity to work through this material that we could spend weeks and weeks just on this one chapter of the environment. But it's time to be eagles. We, we are, we all have that DNA within us to be eagles. And all too often, we're comfortable being down on the ground pecking with chickens. So if you'd like to learn more about how you can change your environment, you can unleash that eagle within you. Contact us at 3greatrights.com. We'd be happy to come to your organization and do a free lunch and learn. We'd love to get you involved with our mastermind groups where we study intensively and apply the principles of the 15 invaluable laws of growth. This is Ken Ivory with the Three Great Rights Institute, empowering you in your pursuit of happiness. Mm -hmm.